Yeah, and that's when I said on the phone to them, actually, I have hit puberty, and actually, I will grow facial hair this year, and I will do Movember. It might look like I've only got a bit of stubble, but it's the, it's the, it's the best I can do, and I'm proud. And that's, that's my defence mechanism standing up well there. Exactly, they just don't know what's happening, do they? Anyway, uh, I'm getting another call by look to things. I'll have to call you back later on, mate. Uh, okay, see you in a bit. <sighs> Hello? Who's this, sorry? It's me, Harry Kane. Oh, Harry, how you doing, man? Uh, good good to speak to you. Um, how, how can I help you? Are you all right? It's Jose. He's gone a bit bonkers. I don't know what's wrong with him. He just keeps running around the training ground going, I am the special one, and no one can stop him. I think we need someone to help us out. I mean, I'm a bit busy at the moment, if I'm honest with you. Uh, new Foot Manager game comes out, so I'm going to be pretty busy with that. Uh, how long, I mean, how long do you need me for? Honestly, literally, just something like two weeks while he sorts himself out. Two weeks. Um, look, I'll tell you what. Just because it's locked down and I've got nothing else to do over these next two weeks, I, I'm more than happy. More than happy to come and help out. How does that sound? Yeah, that would be great, boss. Thanks ever so much for helping us out. I'll, uh, I'll see you down at the stadium or training ground or something then. All right, I'll pack my bags and I'll, uh, I'll get down to the stadium uh, as soon as possible. All right, see you later, mate. Have a good one. And so here we are in Football Manager 2021. Welcome to the Tottenham Hotspur beta save. Hope you enjoyed that little introduction we've got there. But we're here. It, it's actually here. It's a real thing. We can play it. This is amazing. Of course, if you've not yet got yourself a copy of FM21, link down in the description to Two Gaming. You can still pick the game up on there for cheap and get access straight away to the beta. But of course, you can now download it straight away as well. So get yourself down there if you want the game. Right, let's get into this thing. There's so much happening here today. Right, let's get into this today. I've got the water bottle. I'm ready to throw it. So I've just damaged my wardrobe. That's not a great start. But I'm going to be throwing so many water bottles in every single bloody press conference we get into. You can tell I'm excited. This is it. We're here with Tottenham. So we're going to be here for the beta period, which is about two weeks or so. And then once we've done that, we'll move over to our main save, which of course is the Lincoln Loco 3 with Lincoln Gibraltar. So stay tuned for that one. Look forward to it. Uh, drop a like on today's video because that would be hugely appreciated. If there's any video that you're going to like, make sure it's this one because it's the first episode of a new series of a new game the more likes this gets the better it is for me and the channel so as many likes as possible on today's video let's aim for a thousand let's aim for a thousand likes that would be mad uh, would massively appreciate and of course if you're new around here press that subscribe button for daily football manager content right let's get into this then uh first things first we've got some tottenham players in the last year of their contract we don't care about them right now we don't care about that we just want to get to the bit where we're throwing bottles we'll talk about tactics later on first things first though uh, let's have a quick look at the club vision and expectation. So because we're only here for two weeks, we haven't got that much time to build a legacy here at Tottenham. So we want to try and win things as quickly as possible. The board at the moment then wants us to play attacking football, sign players under the age of 22, possessional football, develop players in the club's youth system, don't sign players over the age of 30, sign English players and play entertaining football. So they're, they're pretty demanding, pretty demanding. They also want us to reach the semi-finals of the Europa League, uh, qualify for the Champions League, FA Cup quarterfinals and Carabao Cup is not important. Okay, I think we, I'll agree to it for now. I'll agree to it. But obviously the most exciting bit is here and the first big change to the game that you guys will notice when you load up yourselves is the whole new press conference and interaction sort of thing. So we're going to do the press conference as we are the new managers of Tottenham. We've got a press conference here at the stadium. 12 journalists are here uh, all over. the Worldwide influence. That's what we're seeing here. Worldwide influence. I'm not sure how much impact that will have, but obviously it's, it's clearly noted there. So it must have some sort of impact on the game. But let's attend this press conference then. And uh, oh, look at this beautiful screen. I love love this. Look at this nice press conference thing I'll be sitting at. Look at all these journalists that have come here. Uh, unfortunately though, the uh, the press conference atmosphere is negative. I mean, I've not even said anything yet and they already hate me. So um, if they're going to be negative, I'll be negative. Let's start this press conference then. Uh, the first question, how does it feel to be a new Tottenham manager? Ugh, unfortunately, there's no bottle there. Why can't I throw a bottle yet? I want, I've literally come here to throw some bottles and the option's not there. It's put me in a bad mood, that. That's put me in a bad mood. Uh, I don't want to discuss that. I, I do not wish to discuss this. I'm going to say that to them. I can't do anything negative. I'm just going to say I don't wish to discuss this, which is fine. Uh, still negative atmosphere, though. Uh, many people think Tottenham's wage budget is too small to bring high-quality players into the club. I even talked to the chairman about this. Um, 
I tell you what, we're still on negative footing. I'm going to point my finger at him, point my finger at him, and I'm going to say, I don't want to discuss the club's finances. And they're all pretty downcast now, so this is already going pretty well. But we've gone from red negative to yellow negative, which I, which looks good to me. I presume that's better than it being red. Either way, what attracted me to Tottenham? Um, I'll smile warmly at this one. Uh, and I'll say they're a massive club that would appeal to anyone they're built for success. That might get the, the press conference back on track a little bit. But uh, Suleiman has come back here and he's, he's looking pretty negative himself. Was there anything that gave you reason to doubt whether this was the right job? I tell you what, I'm going to shake my head. I'm going to just go mental shaking my head around uh, and you should be the one asking the board if they have reservations about me i'm going to really go at these journalists uh, you know much reputation oh they're all right they're getting to me you know they're all having a go at me reputation i'm going to storm out i've stormed out the press conference summary i think the press conference went just fine i mean i mean i tried it i tried for it not to go fine but it has gone fine apparently Okay, well that's the new press conference system. I couldn't throw a bottle in there. We might have to wait for a team talk to do that, but we'll get there. Let's look at this squad then. Let's look at this squad. Uh, let's sort it by ability and see who we've got to work with. Harry Kane, of course, one of the best strikers in the world, best player in the squad. Followed up by Son Heung-min, Serge Reguillon, uh, Deli Ali, and Giovanni Lo Celso. So the five best players at the club are all attacking players. So you can kind of see where the formation has got to start going in that attacking way. Interestingly, Gareth Bale's quite far down the list. You know, I expect him to be in the top three, but he is quite far down the list. Like, how good is he? And he looks very, very good still. I mean, composure and concentration, a little low. Positioning only seven. I feel like to be a world-class player, positioning should be a lot better than that. But interesting that football manager have rated him like this this year uh we'll see how it goes i think what we need to do then is probably bring in some defenders who are very very good at some point toby adavira does appear but he's like the only good center back we've got or any good defender we've got really how much money have we got how much money have we got we've got 25 million that's not much at all let's have a quick build of a tactic then and uh, in this football manager basically what i want to do is in previous iteration of the game, I just rely on this. I just do this and, and plug and go, basically. This year, I actually want to create my own styles and actually learn tactics properly. I've never done it, so I'm going to choose a formation. And because we've got such good attacking players, we are going to start off with... I mean, I don't want to say it, but it is a 4-1... Not a 4-1-4-1. One, four, one. What, what are we looking at, Tom? That's the one, a 4-2-3-1 wide. That's what I want to go for, a 4-2-3-1 wide. Uh, so obviously, we'd have to have Harry Kane up front... We'd have to have Son on the left, I believe. And then we'd have to go for, where is he? Gareth Bale on the right? Where does Gareth Bale fit into this? Apparently, Musa Sissoko is a better winger than Gareth Bale. I guess he wants to be an inside forward, though, doesn't he? If we change him to inside forward, he's much more comfortable like that. Through the attacking midfield, obviously, we'll have to go for Deli Ali. Uh, in the centre midfield, probably Lo Celso and probably... Sissoko I would say we'll change all this round at some point uh, we'll have uh, on right back Mac Doherty left back will be Reguillon obviously uh, and then on the left hand side Alderweireld the right hand side Davidson Sanchez Eric Dyer's got to go I don't like Eric Dyer so that means we've only got two centre backs we should probably buy some centre backs at some point and then of course Hugo Lloris in goal so that's what I'm thinking at the moment that's what I'm thinking but I think we need to do some transfers particularly at the back I think what we do is discuss it with Toby out of air out okay uh, discuss with him uh, recommend signing because we get to see the new interactions here as well the new interaction screen which is quite important but also he should know some some good defenders out there you would imagine so do I put my arm around and pat him on the shoulder or handshake Given that we've only just met, uh, I think a handshake is probably the best way to go. I don't want to be too familiar with him. I don't want to like come on too strong. So a nice, simple handshake. Um, I need a defender. Can you recommend anyone? Let's say that to him. He looks pretty content with that. Excellent. Uh, we need a star player. We need a star player to come into that back line to sort of slot in alongside you. So star player to improve the current squad, please. I can't think of anyone that would be suitable. Are you having a laugh, mate? You literally are a footballer. You know thousands probably not thousands you know tens of other footballers out there surely you know a good center back hold on a second i've arrived here i've been here a matter of days and someone is already dishing out contracts of four and a half thousand pounds a week to 16 year olds what is going on here who's given him that jow is this you have you given him this contract because he's giving the news so he must have given him the contract is what i'm going to assume no one else gives contracts to players other than me. 
Um, so let's let's terminate your contract. I can't be having that. Six million compens. No, we need that money. We need that money to buy players. I can't get too trigger happy yet. Let You're surviving for now, Zhao. Oh, and we're giving a 15 year old 3.9k. Zhao. Honestly, lad, sort yourself out. And we've signed a physio, which I'm not aware of. I mean, I'll accept it. Is it actually, is any good at physiotherapy? 16, mm, okay, we, yeah, we can accept that. Oh, this is not a great start. I'm not happy with these signings and these contracts being dished out to like 12 year olds. I mean, imagine being on that much money at that age. But we need new center backs and we're gonna have a recruitment meeting now. This is another new feature into the game this year, a recruitment meeting with uh, the chairman, the director of football, our nemesis, the assistant manager, and uh, chief scout. So let's attend this meeting and see what they have to say. So obviously, sign players under the age of 22, no one over 30 English players. That's what they want to be going for. So I presume this will be told to us. In but These are the, the scout reports they'll suggest to us, I suggest. So great, let's see what you have to say. They think we should just go for other. Um, well, can we add a position at some point? Let's get started. Um, Mario Balotelli. Why are you suggesting Mario Balotelli to me? I mean, let's get a scout report on him. Uh, Callum Hudson Adoy. Let's. These. Okay, we can. He meets the criteria. Balotelli didn't. That seemed very bizarre to me. But um, <laughs> Callum Hudson Adoy. Let's get him scouted out. Phil Foden. Let's get him scouted out. Jadon Sancho. Let's get him scouted out. Nathaniel Klein is just about under thirty. Let's get him scouted out as well. Is that it? We need a goalkeeper. We need a goalkeeper. We need. We need centre backs. I can't change that. How do I change this? I can't change this this goalkeeper thing unless I go to ads. Ads. No. Mm, this. Okay. Obviously, this is the beta still. So I presume that this is a little bit buggy still. So we'll just focus on the targets, please. So apparently the scout is now looking for a goalkeeper. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I can change that. I don't want him to, but I guess it's a little bit buggy at the start of the game. So let's have a quick look then at our uh, scouts. So let's have a quick look at the player search tool right now. I've got my uh, Tom FM scouting view on here, which I've quickly made. And these will be available to download via the Steam Workshop when that is up and about. Uh, I should have pointed out earlier, actually, in the squad view. This is the Tom FM squad view that I very quickly made as well. Um, so these will all be available to download uh, when the workshop is up and I've got time to actually upload them. But let's quickly search for some centre backs. Have we got any centre backs scouted out at all? Search by ability. We've got Johnny Evans, Eric Garcia and Lloyd Kelly. To be fair, Eric Garcia from Man City, who is leaving on a free transfer, uh, does that mean, that means he's, that seems, ooh, has he just told the club that he's leaving and like he's not gonna sign a new contract? Because that's very, very useful to know if that's the case, if he's leaving on a free transfer. Obviously, we need him now because we need another centre back in there, but um, that would be interesting. Let's ask the agent about availability. That, of course, is a new, uh, iteration to the game so we can talk to the agents and sort of talk about what they want from us um so they'll expect to start a majority of the matches they want 56k a week but man city will want a high fee to sell him okay interesting see when i first saw this i thought you'd actually be able to go to the agent negotiate a contract and then do the transfers later on which i think is a lot of you know how football clubs actually operate but i guess it just sort of gives you a bit of a sneak preview as to what he might want but i think we can afford that Let's just see how much Man City wants. So he's valued at 18 million. Suggest, good to see that this hasn't changed. Good to see our old friend is back, you know. Suggest price to the clubs and they go mental. Interesting. So maybe Eric Garcia isn't on the cards right now, but if we sort it by value and we just start to just scout players for centre backs, we'll get some reports come through very soon, I'm sure. And then we'll be able to sign someone. And I think we're going to wrap things up there for episode one. I know it's very short. I know we've not went to any games yet, but uh, I wanted to get this out as quickly as possible for you guys this evening. So you've got a video to watch uh, and then I can go and do a bit of streaming as well uh, later on this evening. So catch me on the streams, twitch.tv slash TomFM. Would massively appreciate seeing you guys there. There's going to be videos all week. There's going to be streams every week. Uh, and there might even be double episode uh, days this week as well. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you do follow me on Twitter. Make sure you are on my Discord uh, and check everything out would massively appreciate that so with all that being said i hope you guys are enjoying football manager 2021 if you've got it of course if you've not got it yet get yourself into two game in the description and i will see you all very shortly have a good one goodbye